What is up everyone? Faze here. In today's video, I'm going to go over five pro tips to better your game style and your statistics. Let's get right into it. Um, so the first pro tip would be training rooms. Why training rooms? Because I've seen a lot of people go into a game and complain that their ping is low and that uh, the game is stupid and didn't warn them when usually you get a red bar here saying uh, internet issue or whatever it is. It's just in red right next to your battle. Uh, people get in and then they usually quit because they're like, okay, so my ping is very bad. I'm just going to quit. Um, here's a good way to test that your ping is bad before you even get into a public game and ruin everyone else's game on your team. So first of all, you go to this, I don't know what you call it, bullseye. It has a bullet on it. It's a circle. I'm sure you'll know what I mean when I show you here. Then you want to press create room. Create room. And then just doesn't matter what tank you, you use. Press ready and then press battle. Doesn't matter what map, doesn't matter. Don't You don't have to touch any of the, the settings. And then when you hop into a game, the bottom left, obviously, you can see your ping. And obviously, I don't have crazy good ping right now. So I can see that, okay, my ping is kind of bad. I'm glitching all over the, lo the place. I'm probably going to get some packet loss. As you can see, 6% packet loss. Um, and this is... I'm not sure why I'm lagging, but... This is a good way to see that if you are lagging or if you're not, because the game might be feel snappy in the garage, but then as soon as you go into a game, you're lagging. So this is a very good way to check that if you're lagging, so that you don't go and ruin everyone else's game on your team. So your second pro tip will be to check that your vehicle's running the right equipment for its stats. So as a medium tank, obviously you'll run calibrated shells because calibrated shells will increase your armor penetration. Um, so you would rather, on a tank that has less penetration, have higher penetration. Um, the T22, for instance, has pretty bad pen, so I'm using calibrated shells. And what calibrated shells does for a tank like, like the T22 is, is give it more opportunity to pen tanks that you try to shoot at. So, for instance, an E100, no, maybe I can still not pen its turret, but uh, your AP shells will have a higher chance of penetrating, let's say if you're shooting the tracks. It has a higher chance of actually going through and not just getting absorbed by the tracks. So it, it gives you a higher opportunity to do damage and to make sure that that shell is going in and penetrating. However, on some medium tanks, you might have more pen. So you would rather run gun rammer because your DPM is maybe lower, maybe like the one to one B. So you would want to boost up your reload time so you can get in line with the other medium tanks that you might face. Um, same with everything else on here. The only time I would use supercharges on a uh, maybe light tanks have usually have less uh, velocity and uh, heavy tanks as well. They usually have le the worst velocity out of any other tank. And then obviously you got your engine accelerator and your armor. Your armor is usually, you would use your armor for a tank that maybe has high armor. And having this 4% increase in your hull and turret armor will actually have a higher increase to your overall armor. Where on a tank that doesn't usually have much armor, maybe like a Leopard 1, you would rather go for hit points because you know that that 4% to a tank that has almost paper armor won't actually add much armor to your tank. So it would be better to have the extra 100 hit points. Um, and then obviously your camouflage, use your camouflage if you're in a tank destroyer because most of the time you'll be sitting in a bush uh, until the later times in the game where you'll have to push up. Uh, and then for improved optics, you would rather want that on a heavy tank or... Tanks that are going to be moving and being frontline because you want to spot the enemy team uh, either before they spot you or as soon as they spot you. Uh, but yeah, the third pro tip will probably be your camouflage. I've seen so many people in a game not put their camouflage on. And I, it's like that's a quick way to determine that a player isn't as good as another. Uh, just because solely on the camouflage. Because plus 3% camouflage to your overall uh, concealment if that's in a, when you're behind a bush or you're on the move, or you're stationary. That 3% concealment can actually have a higher chance of kill, keeping you unspotted. And you should be running it. If you're not running it, you're doing things wrong. I'm sorry. But yeah, make sure to always have your camo on. Doesn't matter which camo. On certain tanks, like heavy tanks, I'm pretty sure you have less. Like on a heavy tank, your camos will do 2% to your overall concealment. And then I'm pretty sure on tank destroyers, it's the highest amount with... 5%? 4%. Um, so you get an, an extra 4% concealment on a, on your tank destroyers if you have camouflage. So if you're not running camouflage, you're doing something wrong, my friend. And then the fourth 
pro tip that I have for you is patience. A lot of people I see hop into a game and they either just rush into the t into the one flank or they're a light tank and they just rush in because they think, okay, four people are spotted on the right. That means they're all there, so let me just rush and flank. No, you should be taking your time, making sure that everyone's spotted uh, so that you're not just rushing into the team. Like if you're, if you're on a sol solo light tank, I'm a medium tank also on the same flank as you, and you decide to just push and leave me in the back, you're going to just die. And there's nothing I can do to help you. I know, I know a lot of people that just rush in and then they call you an idiot or they call you bad at the game because you just sat behind and didn't rush in and yodo like they did. So it's always about patience. It's the same thing with your gun. When you're aiming at people, make sure to, to make sure that that shell, shell really goes in. Um, I know a lot of people, they just, even me for, in some cases, I rush the shell and then it, most of the times it ends up bouncing or ricocheting and just doesn't go in because you're forcing the shell out before you're actually looking at the weak spot of the enemy. Make sure that where you're penning is gray and that, that you know the right, the right place to pen that tank. Uh, don't just go and shoot at the red spots because, well, I don't know. You think something will go through, but it won't. Um, and then the, the last pro tip that I got for you today is map. I know a lot of people just disable their, their map pressing M. I shouldn't really tell you the button to disable your map because it should never be disabled. Always have your map enlarged. You can press the minus and plus keys on your keyboard. I don't know what it is on mobile, but minus and plus keys will enlarge your, your map. And I always keep it at maximum because you want that in your peripheral vision at all times. So it's a good way to say, for instance, you're a medium tank or a light tank and you push up to the left side. You're currently not spotting anyone, but your heavy tanks on the heavy side of the map and town, let's say, for instance, have spotted four enemies. So now you know, okay, there's seven people in a match usually. Um, there should be three more tanks and they're not spotted on the heavy tank team. While you're a light tank, and if you're not spotting anyone just yet, you should just wait. Because maybe in a few seconds, their light tanks would just... Their, their other three tanks on their enemy team were either too slow and they haven't been spotted by the heavy tanks. Or they've taken their time on the on the flank. And then all of a sudden, you're a solo light tank that spotted three enemy team uh, enemies on the, on the flank. And obviously, if you're a solo, you need to get the hell out of there and go help your heavy tank. It's a good way to also know if your entire team went right and there's only four people spotted there at the moment and you spot three people on the flank, you can quickly run away, help your heavy tanks to clear the four people on their team, on their heavy side, and have a 100% almost advantage to winning that game because you spotted the, the medium tanks, took their advantage to run away, help your heavy tanks clear four enemies, and now their team only has three tanks left. So it's a good way to, to not rush your game also because by understanding the map you can understand where enemy tanks are and by that you can take advantage of your concealment your camera uh percentage and just overall how to manage the, the game that you're on so uh, yeah that, that's the main the main points of view of looking at your map always have it open because it's a a key advantage to winning your game um so yeah i hope you got i hope this helps you guys improve your statistics or just the way you play the game um happy hunting and i hope this video helps you guys sweet